Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick look at creating a skeleton and binding a mesh to it. Start with a mesh item you'd like to add a skeleton to. Activate the skeleton tool and create a hierarchy of joints for your mesh. For a clean default state for your rig, select all of the joints and zero out their transform values. With the skeleton in place, we can enter setup mode. When the binding takes place, items in the setup action state are understood by Moto to be in their resting or undeformed position. We can use this later to adjust our rig even after animation has taken place. Select the root of the skeleton hierarchy in the item you want the skeleton to deform. Click on bind and choose the bind type. There are four options to choose from and each option handles the binding differently so you may want to experiment. For this example, I'll go with the default value of smooth distance, which produces a smooth graduated transition between segments based on its distance from the segment. Turn off setup mode and rotate the joints to test the rig. You can always go back to setup mode and make any adjustments you'd like, and when you exit setup mode, your animations will conform to the changes. Oh, look at the time.